Hi, welcome to Tea with Jan. Today we are going to take a look at cleaning a teacup and tea strainer that I purchased. You might uh, recognize this antique Ainsley teacup and the strainer that I purchased from Great Village Antiques. So I often have questions about how I clean my stuff to make me feel comfortable drinking out of them. So I'm just going to go through the process here and show you. So the first thing that I do is I actually layer my sink with a towel because I want to make sure that if I can drop it, I'm not going to drop it in there. Take off any of the stickers or anything, make it a nice soft dishcloth. I get it all watered up and I'm going to add some just some pretty delicate soap right to the rag. Now I'm using hot water from the tap and I'm just giving it a really good washing. Hand washing it and I'm making sure that I'm getting into all the little crevices and every little centimeter of this cup is going to be hand washed. So I actually take quite a bit of time doing this. So I'm not going <laughs> to show you the whole thing, but I make sure I get into all the little small spots. And this is a great opportunity as well to really check over your teacup. I'm going to show you some things that I've been doing lately. So we give it a, a really good scrubbing here. And like I said, it's a great way to really get to know your teacup and somehow I find it very relaxing. Now what I'm doing is I'm actually feeling around and touching it. I, I filled it up with water here trying to make sure that it's not going to leak, that there's no cracks that I couldn't see or anything like that. I'm going to give it a good rinsing Touching the rim to make sure that I didn't miss anything when I purchased it, that there's no you know, imperfections or cracks or anything like that that's going to like hurt my lip or anything. And I'm going to do the same for the saucer. I'm going to get all those little pieces. Now we have the strainer and um, the strainer is pretty neat. So I grabbed myself some toothpicks. And I'm going to use the toothpicks to really get in there. And I'm going to do each individual little strainer hole and make sure that I feel very comfortable with, with using this in the future. And then I want to do the same thing that I did with the teacup. I'm going to give it a really good going over all the little pieces and cracks and crevices, like all the little nooks and crannies, I guess. I'm going to make sure that I get into there. So, like I said, I find that by doing this, I really get to know what my tea pieces feel like. If there's anything wrong with them, I get to really enjoy the beauty of them. And I do, I find it very relaxing to just hand wash these pieces and kind of ponder their life from before. This is the base for this uh, tea strainer. And we're going to do the exact same thing. We're just going to give it a really good washing and we're using that very gentle, mild soap. I don't find, unless it's really grimy, that I, I need anything more than that. I know if you watch the one about the teapot, I use the polydent. And, you know, you could do that for these if that made you feel more comfortable. But I don't really feel the need to do that. I felt like these were... You know, very good pieces. I'm using the um, toothpick again just to get into the edges here where I found it a little bit difficult to get into. Giving it a good rinse off. And there they are. So we air dried them for a little bit, but I'm going to dry them by, by hand. And this just gives me another opportunity to really look the pieces over. 
And I really appreciate these pieces and how beautiful they are. But I also appreciate the fact that, you know, they are working tools in our household and we do use them, which I think is very important. And you want to at least make sure that you're washing all of your pieces at least once a year, but you should be more than that. And that will stop any of the crazing or anything like that. So there we go. We have them all dried up. I'm going to pour boiling water into them. So this is a couple things. It makes me feel more comfortable that um, they've had hot water in them, but I'm also checking again for any leaks or anything like that. So now I'm checking to make sure that the strainer is working well, that there's no issues, and filled that right up to the top, made sure that there was no leakage or anything like that. Gonna give it a good drying. So beautiful, it's a really nice piece. And then the last part is to try to find a new home for it, right? So you gotta go and uh, yeah, oh, I think that's a good spot for it. Thank you so much for joining me and if you haven't already, I hope you subscribe. If you want to see how I clean anything else, please leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you like this video. Until next time, take care. Bye.